Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about how to bench press if you have some shoulder pain going on and how to address that. And there are a lot of different reasons that you can have shoulder pain. So this is just addressing people who have some rotator cuff issues and some minor impingement issues. If you have something really serious, if you have labral pathology, uh, if you have serious shoulder instability, I would really recommend seeing a qualified physical therapist to take care of those issues. Uh, so with that said, you know, most of us know standard bench press form. And when you're coming down, you have the humeral head here and the stabilizers like the rotator cuff have a lot of torque placed on them. And additionally, you have your collarbone or your clavicle. And at the end of it here, there's a lot of compression. And so again, standard, you're kind of bringing it down to your sternum. Generally speaking, you want to have control, maybe pause for a second and go back up. And so when you have a narrower grip, you are what we call adducting. Okay, you're bringing your arms closer and that will increase the amount of shoulder extension you get here and increase the range of motion. And so you probably won't be able to use as much weight, but you're going to decrease that compression here and you're gonna require less stabilization when you're bringing it in like that. Um, another thing you see is as far as internal and external rotation. And so oftentimes you'll see people who recommend lateral raises, kind of an old school method was to, you know, they say, bring your pinky up to the sky. And so you're doing laterals like this. And that results in a ton of internal rotation. And the problem with that is that when you have internal rotation like that, you're bringing the supraspinatus muscle directly under the acromion. And so the acromion, depending on the type you have, can either be kind of a straight, you know, straight bone, curved, or really curved in a type three. And so you have the supraspinatus and the acromion is going on it. And you're really emphasizing that when you internally rotate and have what we call a pronated grip. So, if you have some serious impingement that's been bothering you, try to do a supinated grip. Um, obviously, 99% of us use a standard pronated grip, but again, because you are changing how you, you have that external rotation, you're gonna bring the supraspinatus that is often felt with impingement behind the acromion, and instead, you're gonna have the tendon of the long head of the bicep go in there, which itself is not necessarily a great thing. Um, again, if you had a slap lesion or something like that, that would be a severe problem. Um, but in this case, for this issue, you could try that out and see if it resolves it. And I know for me, if I ever use a reverse grip, I will of course have to use a lighter weight, but it certainly feels better. And so I wouldn't recommend this all the time, but if you're trying to go through a different period to heal up, might be something worth trying and see how you feel. And then of course, another standard recommendation is to bring the scapula back and down. And uh, usually that together will increase stabilization. And so again, you would want a narrower grip. You want to go back and down. I would bring it down to your sternum, pause, and go back up. And again, nothing too out of the ordinary there. Pretty standard recommendations, but I think these are some things people forget. And again, try that underhand grip. I'm not saying that you should always be benching with an underhand grip at all, but because of how it places that supraspinatus posteriorly, I think it could help some people out. So give it a shot, see if it helps.